It's Dr. Anderson. You don't pay, you don't stay. Ain't that right, Q? <laughs> you can see. <laughs> there you go the proof. This is the proof. All right, look, we're gonna do a video coming up soon, a webisode on the correct ways to enter into the house, secure your property, uh, handle evictions, and just basically negotiating with folks to have a peaceful uh, result. And ultimately, that's what we all want. We don't, you know, we don't want to take joy in this process. We don't really enjoy it. It's the worst part of the deal here, but it has to happen as a landlord. You have to take possession of your property and, and assert, you know, assert your ownership rights. And that's, that's what's happening here. But in the next, in the next episode, we're going to put together some some key things, especially for women. A lot of you guys are out here accessing vacant properties, and sometimes these squatters are armed. Uh, it was a report a couple of weeks ago of a, of a young person being killed walking into a, a house, and the squatter was armed and, and shot him three times in the chest. So there's some protocols that we have. Of course, we are big on Kevlar. We're big on threat level three. We're big on uh, weapon systems. But a lot of times, all of that's not needed. Sometimes you just need a good old-fashioned survey of the house and utilizing some technology uh, a thermal gun is always good it's on ebay it's about a thousand bucks they range anywhere between 200 bucks they go up to 1500 bucks and for you women um you know a good vest and a thermal gun will tell you if there's a live body in there i think it reads from uh, 55 degrees up to 100 and something so you could definitely find out the average human is about 98 degrees so you could definitely find out if somebody's in the house and if that uh thermal gun comes back with a detect uh, you want to get your vector 45 or whatever type of weapon systems you have and have at it if necessary but that's under the understanding that you've already filed for your writ and then you know you're waiting for the marshal to come to keep the peace you don't really necessarily have to do that but uh, in some instances where you're trying to establish if you need to evict or if you don't these are the protocols that we need to keep in place that we need to keep you safe and keep you alive all right so happy real estate investing. Be on the lookout for that next webisode, man. We're going to get some systems out here and really get into detail on the technology on how it works. Keeping uh, some, uh, some Kevlar, uh, um, a threat level three, Vesta better. Keeping a weapon system. A good old fashioned shotgun's good. I don't have time to go to the range, you know, shotgun close range is ripping off body parts. And, and then finally, you know, having the, the, uh, the, the thermal gun. Thermal gun really should be your first protocol before you walk into the house. So anyway, we're live from the hood. Uh, actually, this ain't the hood. This is Old School Cascade, man. We, we're on Almont here, and Big Q's tired. We got to go get him something to drink, something to eat. Dr. Anderson out.